I had gone up to Sullivan because my grandfather's brother lived up in Sullivan and I had spent almost every summer of my life up in Sullivan. I liked Sullivan very much. And while sitting at the table, my uh, grandfather's brother and his, his wife were commenting on uh, how terrible it was that this woman had passed on and she and her daughter did not get along and because uh, the daughter was the only heir, heir, the daughter was going to inherit all the stuff that the woman had. That's how I knew the house was empty and I knew there was a sense of uh, justice, if you will call, by going down there and leaving some of the antiques that the woman had and not being, letting the daughter have them. So I went down to the home and uh, I uh, took the clock, there was grandmother's clock, which is a small grandfather's clock. And that's a one and only item I took out of the home and I put it in, into uh, the back of my car. What pulled up and blocked me was a sheriff's car. And now in the trunk of my car, I had brought up from Boston, a couple of machine guns. I had brought them up for target practice. He sees the clock. He says, where did the clock come from? I said, uh, that, that's a clock that I had for, for years. I said, look it up. Back up and let me out of here, please. He said, no, I can't do that. I said, look, it, please back up and let me get out of here. He said, no. And so uh, he, he pulled his firearm. And uh, when he pulled the firearm, I had studied martial arts since I was a, a youngster, and it's not really hard to uh, disarm somebody if they're close to you and they pull a firearm on you. I took his gun and I said, step back, I'm taking your car out of the way. And he leaped on, uh, with his hands, he grabbed both my, with both of his hands, my wrists. And so I didn't want to shoot, shoot him, so I put the gun down to the ground. I discharged the gun. It went off into the ground. When I discharged the gun, he let go of the, my wrist. At that point, I hit him a couple of times in the jaw. He tumbled over the... We were right on the top of a ravine where there was a little stream down below. And so he went down into the ravine. And uh, so then I was concerned I might have hurt him or he might have hurt himself. So I, I remember hollering down. I said, are you okay? okay? Now he didn't have his gun. So he ran off down the stream. I went back up. I had, uh, I had the keys to the car. I turned the start of his car up, back car out of my way. Then I, with his revolver, I shot out the radio in the car so he couldn't call for help and uh, backed up his car, point where I could pull it aside. And then I went into my car, I got my car, drove my car up to the old road that runs by, through Sullivan. I drove to a point where I figured I could ditch the machine guns and they would not be found, and so I did that. Uh, and then I uh, continued up the highway, knowing it would only be a matter of time before the state police were alerted and sure enough they were and I was pulled over.